Let's start at the beginning. Introduce yourself. Daddy G Wiz. <laughs> DJ Eddie F. <laughs> Old boy lover Heavy D. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wipe your face off. Can't help it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hit a serious issue real quick. I was reading a, a publication recently, and you talked about, I guess, the record labels or executives being pimps and they treat rappers like hoes talk about that but that is basically um you got a lot of brothers out here in the street who uh lyrically are well very talented you know better than myself and a lot of other brothers that's out here but these record company executives who sit up on the 30th floor with ties and tight tight ass pants and suits <laughs> they think they know what they doing they don't so they think literally that they could just pull any black person off the street and make a record because they don't know no better yeah. So it kind of, it feels to me like, as opposed to exploiting us in a good manner, they, they pimp us, you know? Yeah. He's black, he can rhyme, here's a beat, put it out. Yeah. And it doesn't work like that. It's like, kind of offends us and 
I mean, because what we did is an art form, what we do. With, you know, it's not just beats and rhymes, just you put it together. I mean, when you get with Eddie F or Teddy Riley, Molly Maul, Pete Rock, Dave Hall, these are the guys that I work with. We sit, we format, we put together music, beats. It's not just lyrics and rhymes, it's concept. You listen to my record, I got a record called Sister Sister, which talks about the black women of the world and how I think they need to be paid more attention to. And we wrote a record called Letter to the Future, which, you know, my perspective of the ghetto life in the street, how black on black crime is a waste of our black nation. You know, but they don't see that. They just think it's beats and rhymes, but it's not. You said, you, you, you mentioned the statement, better than you. Who do you like? Who's better than you? Oh, man. Cool G Rap, Rock Kim, mm -hmm. uh, Grand Poobah Maxwell. I mean, lyrically, these guys, incredible. Yeah. Where yeah. were all you gentlemen born? New York? Mount Vernon. Uh, Money on Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon. Yeah. yeah. Jamaica. Yeah, you were born in Jamaica. Yeah, I was born in Jamaica. Still a big reggae fan? Of course. <laughs> Very advanced music. Yeah, reggae. Yeah, it's... It's, see, if any, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna hit big in the States, but when you get to understand what reggae is, it's far more advanced than rap, than rap is lyrically. Mm -hmm. Because they say things and they, they're fast. That's where I got diddly diddly dee from. Yeah. Because it's like the tongue, the quickness, and it's, they just quick with it. Yeah. We gotta run. Thank you for stopping by. Peace. Think number one, I'll see you Monday. Well, come back. Come back Monday. But you can...